بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hello my dear students and welcome to a new lesson lesson number 12 and this lesson will be about listening listening for specific details and contrastive stress number A look at the table and the cartoon Answer the questions, then compare your ideas with a partner. On the right, we have a cartoon. The first one says, Good morning, sir. I think I might still be suffering from jet lag. And on the left, we have this table. Time difference between Tripoli and major world cities. Tripoli here is zero. Beijing plus six hours so if the time is or if the time yes is in Tripoli 12 it's six in Beijing Dubai plus two hours Hong Kong plus six hours here we know that Hong Kong and Beijing have the same time Islamabad plus three hours Lima minus seven hours now London minus two hours Los Angeles minus ten hours and Nairobi plus one hour Paris minus one hour and Sydney plus nine hours after that we have some questions like why are some parts of the world dark when it's midday in Libya. Number two. How do time differences affect business? Three. What problems do people have after flying across many time zones and why? Number four. Work out the day and time in Hong Kong and Los Angeles when it's 9 a.m. on Wednesday in Tripoli. Here are the answers of previous questions. Number one, why are some parts of the world dark when it's midday in Libya? Because the earth is round, as you all know. When some places are facing the sun, places on the other side of the globe are in the shadow. Number two, how do time differences affect business? How do time differences affect business? They make it difficult to arrange telephone conversations or meetings. Business people often need to fly across time zones and suffer jet lag. Jet lag. Number three, what problems do people have after flying across many time zones and why? They might be tired because their bodies are still tuned to the time at home. They may not be able to sleep because their bodies expect to sleep at the times they sleep at home which may be day daytime at their new destination and they could be hungry at unusual times because their body expects food at the usual times they eat at homeland number four work out the day and time in Hong Kong and Los Angeles when it's 9 a.m. on Wednesday in Tripoli Hong Kong equal 3 p.m. Hong Kong is 3 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon Los Angeles equals 11 p.m. on Tuesday night so here when the time is 3 p.m. in Hong Kong on Wednesday afternoon it's at the same time 11 p.m. on Tuesday night in Los Angeles. Number B. You are going to listen to an 
in flight video pres uh, presentation. Read the leaflets below, then listen to part number A and complete the advice. Yeah, dealing with jet lag. When you arrive at your destination, you will have passed through several time zones. Your watch and your body clock will be telling your you different information. It will be a few days before your body clock adjusts to the new time. You can't avoid the problem, but you can reduce it by following these simple steps. Now, before doing this exercise, we have to listen to the conversation, but here, unfortunately, the part one is missed as audio, so we want to read it ourselves. Part A, Announcer. You can easily reduce the effects of jet lag by following four simple steps during your fight during your fight yeah so you can easily reduce the effects of jet lag by following four simple steps during your fight first change the time on your watch soon after takeoff set your watch to the time at your destination don't wait until you arrive at your destination do it before you arrive this will help you to start adjusting to the new time sitting in one position for many hours can add to the feeling of tiredness when you arrive to avoid this do exercises in the plane do leg exercises stretching and bending your legs like this Stretch and bend your arms like this. Move your head slowly in different directions like this. Exercise your back, your neck, and your abdomen like this. You can do all, do all these exercises without leaving your seat. Eat light food, heavy food like steak is not so good before and during the flight this is because your body has to adjust to new pattern and big heavy meals meals make the job harder finally during your flight drink plenty of water and soft drinks the atmosphere on the planes is dry so it's important to keep up the level of fluids in your body Let's come back to our question after reading this and after reading the leaflet we can solve, we can do. Yes, during your flight we have our four advices. Number one, soon after take off, set your watch to the time at your destination. Number two, do exercises on the plane. Do exercises number three eat light food eat light food don't have heavy food number four drink plenty of water and soft drinks drink a lot of water and soft drinks here are the answers to these questions <coughs> so these answers in front of you my students you can write them down in your book or copy books now let's do number C listen to part one again and make notes about the reasons for the four pieces of advice in exercise number B after listening to it earlier already yes we can answer it directly Possible answers here we have. This helps you start adjusting to your new time. Number two, sitting in 
one position for many hours can add to this feeling of tiredness tiredness when you arrive number three heavy food makes it harder for your body to adjust to the new pattern and number four the atmosphere on the planet is dry so it's important to keep up the level of fluids in your body or you can become dehydrates dehydrates number d listen to part two here we have another part in your notebook make notes about the rest of the advice you have you hear this is part number two announcer yeah now here is some advice for reducing jet lag when you arrive at your destination when you arrive try to adjust to the new pattern if it's daytime but night time back home you may want sleep but the golden rule is don't sleep in the day wait until night if you do this you'll sleep better at night and feel fresher the next day it's better not to drink coffee in the evening coffee in the evening or coffee in the daytime is fine but not in the evening because coffee keeps you awake and a good night sleep will help to minimize the effects of jet lag it's a good idea also to take some exercise on your first day this will make you feel better after your long flight and will help you to sleep on your first night you can help your body clock you can help your body clock to adjust quickly if you use the light in your env environment for your body clock light means day and dark means night so you should go out and get plenty of sunlight during the day but avoid bright lights at night now after reading this part part number two we can come back to our question listen to part two we have listened to it in your notebook make notes about the rest of the advice you heard here do try to adjust to your new pattern wait until night to sleep don't don't sleep during the day don't don't drink coffee in the evening do take some exercise on your first day do go out and get plenty of sunlight during the day don't go don't go near bright lights at night Now let's do exercise number E. Work in pairs. Compare your notes from exercise number D. Use your notes to give your pattern or partner more advice about dealing with jet lag. Here you can do it yourselves, my students. And after that, we do number F. When two things are contrasted, we stress the contrasting words listen and repeat practice saying the phrases in pairs here if we don't stress anything we can read as follows don't wait until you arrive do it before you arrive number two don't sleep in the day wait until night number three eat light food heavy food is not good number four light means day and dark means night but if we have draw our attention carefully to the stress and unstress word we can say it in another, in another way like don't wait until you arrive 
do it before you arrive. Don't sleep in the day. Wait until night. 3. Eat light food. Heavy food is not good. Light means day and dark means night. In this way we can differentiate between the contrasted words. So we have to draw our attention carefully to this rule my students and finally by doing this exercise and uh, I want to say to everybody of you good bye goodbye